So you finally found your way into a rehabilitation facility, which is an excellent first choice. But let me ask you this, why are you going? Is it because you have made the decision that you have an unnatural you know, relationship with alcohol or did family members do an intervention and they're kind of giving you no other alternative? What is your motivation for being in the rehab facility? And it's very important once you go through detox and you do have a sober mindset for a period of time, is to understand your motivation for being there. That's the difference between success and failure in a rehabilitation facility. Now, your overall attitude when going into the rehab is, is going to determine your success or failure. If you feel like you've been coaxed into it, if you've been pushed into it, you may not have the right attitude, even when you do sober up. So it's really important to go there with the right mindset. You have to go there with the mindset that I'm here to do the work. I'm here to go through the group therapy. I'm also giving myself a break from the alcohol because obviously you're not going to be drinking for at least 30 to 60 to 90 days. Most rehabs are generally 30 days but some go much longer that's a huge break for your body and your mind it's also a break for your family now there's a couple things that really should take place in a rehabilitation facility one is you have to go there to do the work you're not there because it's a resort yeah it's a 30 to 90 day break from your life the food is great you don't have any responsibilities but you got to do the work you have to show up for every meeting it's very important that you bond with the other people that are in there because sometimes you can have a lifelong friendship. Um, you, you can have you know, relationships outside that you, know, you have a, a built-in accountability partner by just networking with the people that you met inside the rehab. And that's really kind of a crucial element to it. Also, families have to realize that it is just a starting point. Rehabilitation facilities are really a band-aid. They're just the beginning. The real work starts when you leave the rehabilitation facility. And one of the most important things is to realize with the rehabilitation for both the alcoholic and the family is that it's just a starting point. It will set you up for the rest of your life if you do it correctly. Because inside the facility, you're, learn you're learning inwards. You're learning that where the alcohol, the reasons why you're drinking comes from inside yourself, not from outside sources. And that you are 100% responsibility for your life. And realizing that and understanding that will allow you to move forward and do the work after the rehabilitation facility. You'll do the group therapy, you'll get an accountability partner, you'll go to your meetings, and you will continue to do the work, literally, for the rest of your life. So the real work starts when you leave the facility, when you're back in your own life, when you're back in your own reality, and then you, you're tested again. You're tested in the real world whether or not you're going to make the decision to drink or not. You're going to test yourself whether or not the addiction has taken over. Um, this is where people like myself can help you. We need an accountability coach. You need a coach. You need somebody to walk you through these types of issues and educate you and educate your family. So if this resonates with you, again, links are above. You know, Click on a uh, breakthrough call and let's find you and your family on the path to sustainable sobriety. And again, thanks for listening.